man, the Saints Row reboot. I've been waiting to do this review ever since I finished, really ever since the first couple of hours into the game. I could not wait to make this video right here. It's been almost an entire decade since the last Saints Row game, just to remind you guys. So naturally, a lot of us were anticipating what was next for the franchise after Saints Row 4. Now, personally, I didn't give Saints Row 4 a chance when it came out, but over the last year, I did play it for the first time. And story-wise, it was exactly what I thought it was. It was all over the place, with you being the president to you ending up fighting in a simulated world because of an alien invasion on Earth. Just listen to how crazy that sentence sounds. But the gameplay ended up being the main highlight in that game. It reminded me of like the OG Crackdown games back on Xbox when I played it. And it was fun for the most part. But obviously, Saints Row 2 is definitely my favorite from the entire Saints Row series, catalog, whatever you want to call it. I played it when it first came out and it's been one of my favorite games ever since then. I always knew about Saints Row 1 as a kid, but it was exclusive to Xbox 360 and I was like on PS3 at the time because, you know, online was free. It just made more sense for me as a kid. Uh, but my older brother had the 360, but he would never let me play it. So I seen him playing Saints Row 1 when that was out. But, you know, fast forward to earlier this year. I finally played Saints Row 1 for myself on the Xbox Series S, and I, I love the game as, almost as much as Saints Row 2, but I just didn't get to experience it in its prime, so it's a little different. I have a little different love for Saints Row 2, and I just feel like there's more features and stuff, but besides that, last we have Saints Row the 3rd. I played both the original and the remaster for Saints Row 3, and it was aight, but it just felt like this is where they messed up with the story a little bit but now that you know my history with saints row let's talk about this reboot man when it first got revealed last year i'm not gonna lie it had me pretty hyped i was excited to see that the gangs were coming back and now it's gonna be like the main i guess focal point uh for the game but i was always questionable about there being i guess a new cast because thinking back to modern warfare 2019 right that game got rebooted in the Modern Warfare series, but it kept the same cast. There were some new characters too, but the OG people from Modern Warfare were in 2019. I'm going to be honest with you. And it's coming back with Modern Warfare 2, uh, I guess 2019 part two. That's coming out this year. Besides the point, Saints Row, right? The more trailers, teasers, and information that came out had me doubtful at the direction of this story. So I just kind of disregarded that and then even the player customization was a big concern of mine when they first showed that off. So at that point, I was strictly looking forward to this game based off of the gameplay, just off the merit of what the Saints Row gameplay has been between all four of the games. I've enjoyed the gameplay on all four. Uh, but fast forward a few days before launch, I managed to get a early access code to the game on PS5. I played through this entire game on my second channel. You guys can see my reactions to everything. But to summarize it, if you didn't see it, I was highly disappointed. I usually am like pretty chill when I play any game really, but I was genuinely annoyed when I played this one right here. It's just the fact that I know the potential of Saints Row. And this right here destroyed it in almost every single way possible, bro, I'm telling you. So I thought the best way to get my point across, not emotionally, straight up logical, physical proof, is to show you rather than tell you. Actions speak louder than words, so I'm not gonna do no more talking. Who the fuck's this guy? Troy and I found him. We're gonna see if he'll ride with us. Julius, if he wants to run with the Saints, he gotta be canonized. Hey, he's right, Julius. Everyone had to do it. You ready for this, player? Fundamentals don't change, just a uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent, but we just gotta be a little more creative. <laughs> Where the hell are you guys? <laughs> oh, oh! kill all of us. Someone get my back! Uh, uh, let's go! Oh. 
You don't find that suspicious. Down, baby! What? You yeah. ain't slept. Here they are! That's what I'm talking about! Ah. What is that? Take it easy, and I'll take you to the safe. everything take it and get going nigga what break, break yourself Fuck. <laughs> what you can't rob the store? I mean, so. Wow. What's the hold up? Are you crazy? Uh. Oh. Ah! You know I'm in. Don't give up on me. That was a close one. Boring! Thanks for choosing Freckle Bitches! Here's your order! Have a great day! I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go. Bro, these are the corniest characters I have ever seen in my life, bro. What are you talking? You a grown-ass you know, man talking about a toy. Garbage. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and just look at the game, bro. Yo, no, I, I would love to see. I want people to defend this gameplay right here, bro. <laughs> like, please defend it, bro. Comment in the comment section. I want to see how.
I just want you to please break it down for me. That's <laughs> oh boy. And, and yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, I can't. What am I going to say? Not I can't believe it. I can't walk to work without almost getting shot or ran over. This is what you do? Painting? I thought you were criminals. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, th this is Pantero's turf. Nina ran with them before we started the Saints, so for her to be here putting up our colors? Ah, she's showing defiance in the face of her enemies. Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. You took the city. You plan on now paying my medical bill, jackass! Um, shoot. Anything we can do in here that's special. We got a weapon wall. Whoa! With another, you know, little fake loading screen. Watch this. Oh, wow. Load. <laughs> 2,000 years later. So by now you should definitely get the point that I'm trying to make. I could have literally made this video an hour longer showing you all of the missing and downgraded features from this reboot. And I didn't even show you any of the Saints Row 2 features like grabbing people. You could pick up pretty much any object that you see in that game and use that in combat and throw it at people. You could change your fighting style in Saints Row 2 and just a whole lot more that isn't present 
in a 2022 Saints Row game. The game lacks any type of weight. There's no seasoning on the game at all. It's easily one of the most shallow and lifeless Saints Row games out of the original four. In my opinion, remember, this is all what I think. I also had more glitches playing this game than I did on Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm not even exaggerating. I promise you, I ran into a glitch probably every five to 10, probably even more frequently than that. Uh, the only thing that Cyberpunk did more of was the game crashing and I had to happen maybe like once or twice when I was playing this game and I think both of the times I was like free roaming so I wasn't doing anything intensive it just randomly crashed but other than that the performance did hold up pretty good in the 1440p high frame rate mode in terms of like no frame drops or anything like that but there were a lot of like I said visual glitches audio glitches and other random glitches that I ran into during my playtime but besides all of that the only good things that i can say about this game is that the weapon and car customization they were decent for the most part uh the graphics look solid but if that compromises the gameplay then at the end of the day what is the point right uh because gameplay that's how i take things gameplay first that's the most important thing for me uh the car combat is a good idea but it definitely could have been executed better uh, and the best part for me as a content creator is one, the content I was able to make from this game, including this review right here. And the fact there was an option to turn off copyrighted music. So I didn't have to worry about none of that when I was posting these videos. But I did listen to the radio stations when I was like doing my free roaming sessions and the old school like hip hop station was definitely the best one in my opinion. I do still think that Saints Row 2 had the best musical selection between all genres of music. I'm talking about, I listened to every radio station. I, I was put onto a lot of tracks from different genres from Saints Row 2. And I can't really say the same uh, from the reboot. Uh, but my final recommendation, as you can tell, is to not buy this game. This is the first time I ever said this in a review. Do not buy this game. It'll probably end up being free on PlayStation Plus or like Epic Games Store at some point. Uh, so just wait for that. You're definitely not missing out on anything, especially if you're a fan of the original Saints Row games. But other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, also check out my second channel. Like I said, it has my entire playthrough of all of the Saints Row games at this point. Uh, so, you know, tune into that if you're interested. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.